41 TV program. What is your favorite TV program? Well, I watch a lot, but the one I like best is How It's Made. Is that an international TV program? Yes, it is. It's available in Canada, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Southeast Asia, and so on. What is the TV program about? Its name somehow describes the content, which is about the process of making things like lipsticks, balls, candy, toys, chocolate, and so on. How often do you watch that TV program? Almost every day after dinner. Who watches that program with you? My family watches it together. My younger brother can't wait to turn on the TV. What channel is it on? A very common one, Discovery Channel, which focuses on popular science, technology, and history. Why do you like that TV program? I love learning new things, especially about how everything is produced. I would love to run a business about handmade cosmetics. How does that TV program change you? I know more about the world around me. It also supports me in my career path to make my dream come true. Who is its target audience? It particularly aims at families and younger audiences. Would you recommend that TV program to your friends? Yes, of course. They would be crazy about the program, I bet. 42. Architect. Building. What is the most impressive building you visited? It's the Petronas Twin Tower in Malaysia. Where is it located? It's located in the capital of Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. How tall is it? They were the tallest buildings in the world from 1998 to 2004. It reaches the height of 451.9 meters. Who was the architect? Cesar Pelli, an Argentine-American architect. Is it well-known all over the world? Sure. Tourists can't miss it when visiting Malaysia. Do you have to purchase a ticket in order to visit the tower? Yes, I do. It's sold online. When did you see it? I saw it two years ago. Will you come back there again? Of course. I'm looking forward to seeing you again someday. 43. Electronic Media What kind of electronic media is popular in your country? There are some popular kinds, radio, TV, and online news. What's your favorite kind? I like online news because I have to work with computers every day. It's easier for me to read online. Why do you like it? Due to its convenience. I love reading anyway. How often do you have access to that kind of electronic media? Every morning before I start working. What's interesting about it? Instead of watching TV or listening to radio passively, I'd rather read and think about the news. Is it convenient to access that kind of electronic media? Yes, with a computer, smartphone connected to the internet, you can read electronic news anytime and anywhere. 
Does your family like that electronic media too? No, my dad likes radio and my mom likes TV. How has mass media changed recently? They're more modern and user friendly. 44. Job, career. What is your desired job? Well, my dream changes in accordance to age. Up to now, I would like to be a great English teacher. Is that a demanding job? Yes, I think so, although people suppose that being a teacher is easy and boring. What challenge do you have when doing that job? I have some problems with classroom management. Maybe I have to improve that skill a lot in order to be a good teacher. Is it hard to make your dream come true? Every job needs time and effort, and teacher does as well. Apart from the academic knowledge I was taught in university, I have to learn many other soft skills. Why do you choose that job? I really admired my high school English teacher, and I want to be like her. What requirements and characteristics do you need to do that job? Let's see. You need to be patient, thoughtful, and sympathetic. Does the job have something to do with your major at university? Sure. I studied English linguistics and literature, majored in English teaching. The major does support me a lot in my career path. What does the society think about your job? I'm not quite sure, but I'm proud to be a teacher, an honor job. Do you make much money with that job? Not at all. Teacher is one of the lowest paying jobs in my country. Have you ever thought of leaving your job? I haven't thought of that before, but I believe in what I'm doing right now. 45. Competition, Contest What is the most impressive competition you've entered? I took part in an eloquence competition organized by my university last year. What was it about? The competition was to find out the best public speaker in the university. Were there many participants in the competition? Yes, there were around 500 participants totally. What prize did you get? Well, I didn't get a very high prize, but it didn't matter. I was still happy with the result. What could you learn from the competition? I learned the way to develop ideas for a speech besides some body language tips in public speaking. Did you have to prepare a lot for the competition? Yes, I did. I read various materials about eloquence, as well as rehearsed a lot. How did you know about the competition? The competition was informed in the school poster. Did you do your best then? Yes, I think so. After the competition, I know I have to try more. Is the competition useful in your opinion? Sure. It helps students learn soft skills as well as become more confident in life. 46. A Garden Is there any garden that you like? Yes, I love the strawberry garden in my neighborhood. Where is it? It's in the Highland area where I live. When did you first see it? I accidentally saw it when I had a picnic in the Highland. What were planted in the garden? Strawberries, of course.
There are also some boxes of cucumbers next to the strawberry beds. Why do you like the garden? I love picking red strawberries. The garden brings me closer to nature as well. What is special about the garden? The strawberries there are organic. How do people do the gardening? Keeping the beds mulched is important since it helps reduce water needs. How often do you visit the garden? Just when I have leisure time since I'm quite busy. Is there any relation between the green garden and your mood? Yes, at least for me. The green will help me chill out. Do you want to be a gardener? Honestly, no. I'm not used to manual work. 47, Hometown. Where is your hometown? My hometown is a coastal state of U.S. Is it the city or the countryside? I live in a suburb area. What's it known for? It's famous for tobaccos. What do people do there? Agriculture is the main industry in my hometown. Most of the people here plant and sell tobaccos. How is the atmosphere there? Well, it's quite peaceful. I enjoy the fresh air here. How are people there? They're friendly and hospitable. Would you like to live in your hometown or somewhere else? Yes, I would. I just wish I can live here forever. Is it easy to find a job there? Manual work is easy to find. I'm not sure about the white collar jobs. Is it a good environment for young people? I don't think so. The pace of life here is quite slow. If they want to work in a dynamic environment, they'd better move to the city. Is traffic congestion a big problem in your hometown? Not at all. We couldn't be happier with the traffic system here. 48. Clothing. What is your favorite item of clothing? My favorite one is a maxi dress. I wear it when hanging out with my friends or attending parties. When did you buy it? My friend gave it to me as a birthday present when I turned to 21. Where did you buy it? I had no idea where my close friend bought it. What color is it? It's blue, my favorite color. Was it expensive? Yes, I guessed. Why do you like it? Well, I'm kind of short and plump, so it's hard to find a piece of clothing that fits me perfectly. But that one does. I also love the color and style. Do clothes help to build your personal brand? Yes, I agree with it to some extent. I still believe that personal brand can be built from the inside rather than the outside. However, what you wear also plays an important role in saying who you are. Have you seen anybody wearing unusual clothes? Yes, I have, but I don't think any fashion style is weird. I believe everybody has their own taste of fashion. How has your fashion style changed recently? I always wore formal shirt and trousers whenever hanging out years ago, but now I change into casuals like jeans and t shirt. 49 Advertisement
What is your favorite advertisement? I'm quite impressed with the advertisement about Surf, a laundry detergent made by Unilever. Where did you see it? I accidentally saw it on TV two years ago. What happened in the advertisement? The ad told a story of a family in which the children all loved their stepmother due to the white shirts she prepared for them. Why do you like it? I just can't stop loving the story in the ad. It's such a sweet story. Was there any famous actor or actress in the advertisement? Not at all. The actors were not very well known, I think. Did it attract much attention? I have no idea, but I saw it in many public places. What do you like the most in the advertisement? Well, the vivid images and sound effects did attract me. Do you believe in advertisements? Not really. Ads always say good things and neglect to mention bad things about a product for obvious reasons. How have advertisements changed recently? They're more modern. Digital marketing has proved successful in many fields. 50. A project. What project did you work on? I made an English poster about our environment. Was that an indoor or outdoor project? The project was carried out mostly outdoor. Only the last phase was conducted indoor. Who was involved in the project? My teammates and an advisory teacher. What did you do? We had a field trip to the countryside where we studied insects and plants. Was it a successful project? Yes, we received compliments from our professor. Who was your advisory teacher? Our science teacher, Mr. John. We learned a lot from him. What did you learn after the project? I learned how to write contents and decorate posters. Did you like your partners? Yes, most of them were friendly and responsible, and I particularly liked Michael, the leader of my team. What did you get after the project? After the project, I know how to work in a team and cooperate well with my teammates. No, you've been a good friend, and that's in the thick and thin. Speak English like a native speaker. Welcome to English Free Channel, www.4uenglishfree.com.